and welcome back to Warhammer 40k, Inquisitor, Martyr, second place. Looks like we got the level up, let's spend the point. Um. Health has had my interest as of late. So let's see what the uh, nerfs are for the level 70 missions are. See how it's status green? That might be within reason now. Yeah, this looks doable. A recon team has stumbled into an Eldari ore host, preparing for a raid. Their target is unknown but there can be no doubt about their hostile intentions. We must immediately conduct preemptive strike. Orders, eliminate the Xenos. Yeah, in the last episode, I was talking about a friend of mine growing up who would always flip out and do some violent shit. I was thinking about more stories about him. Um, one time we were playing tag, another buddy of mine didn't appreciate how aggressively that the violent kid had tagged him. And in like a really like snarky kind of way he looked at him, he's like, you fucking R wordist. And not like, you know, um, I'm trying to think of a way I can describe what R word that is, like, you know, referring to S A kind of R wordist. And this kid got so fucking pissed. He like just immediately just started whipping this kid's ass, but not how you think where like, oh somebody's doing these lunging, reaching punches, like, they were in grappling range, and this kid is throwing strikes, so, like, he's got, like, maybe, like, half a foot between him, throwing as heavy as a punch, maybe through, like, 20 in a span of a couple seconds. Some of them were slaps. By the end of it, the, the kid who had called him that was all beat up and scratched up, and, like, I think he even had, like, a, a, a tear ripped in his jeans or something. Like, he was, like, a cartoon after that. Um, kind of like Tasmanian the Devil. The enemy has dug tornado. in multiple strong points <laughs> over the battlefield. Kid again. Mount an assault oh, and take them and one by one. Being over when the Olympia. Imperial banner flies high, you will get reinforcements at your current position. Revel in carnage, Inquisitor. Take it like a for the Emperor! I will send your soul into the war. Ready to fight! For being overly violent, you know, as one must assume, the kid who's, uh, who attacked the other kid is immediately in trouble. You know, you can't just do that. And then when, I guess, it must have been the teacher had asked him what had happened, why would he up and do that, he told the teacher that the kid had called him an r -wordist. And now, the trouble starts getting like, put on the, the kid who called him that. And they're like, oh, he called you what? And then it wasn't even about how he had expressed himself. It was about how the first kid had said some super inappropriate shit on the playground, right? And uh, now that kid's in trouble. And he uh, gets in the kind of trouble where your parents find out. And his mom, who was, I guess, uh, unfortunately, uh, a victim of, of that kind buy. of uh, horrible thing herself, was really troubled by it. So he got in, like, hell of trouble with his parents and shit. Uh, and his ass beat. Um, and funny enough, you know, the kid is always like, Ooh, as soon as he's getting too God. violent or getting in trouble because he can't control himself. Um, actually turned out to be in the right. 
and uh, you are allowed to put hands on people if they call you Jack. <laughs> and they will be the ones to get in trouble after. Um, from what I've seen. If, uh, Oakland Public Schools have taught me anything. Now, after saying that, I should specify that the violent kid was indeed uh, a white kid. If you hear Oakland Public Schools and you so well, you know that must be a violent minority. No, those kids were chill. I mean, they weren't taking any mess. But, uh, yeah, the only, like, overly violent kids that I encountered as, a, as another child. Um, well, you know what? I'm not gonna say that was an always. There was this kid that, that did come in from another group. I smashed my friend's head open with a rock one now time. You'll pay, Scott. That was pretty out there. He got super expelled. That was like miles beyond whatever violence the, the office was used to seeing there. For the Emperor! I know there were a million other times that kid flipped his shit. Um, those are the only times I can recall at the moment. For the Emperor! Onwards! Don't linger, Siemens race dreaming about greatness. For the Emperor! Take it like a man, Guardsman! He was very well behaved, um, but he was also very much a kid, in that um, he uh, get uh, hurt playing Mario Party. I don't know if you recall uh, the Nintendo 64 controller. The joystick on that thing was like this really firm plastic with no cushion on it. You'd have to do a lot of actions where you put the, your palm in the this, you know. Um, in the center and do a bunch of like circle motions with that thing and uh, from doing that it would cut up his hand and take it that seriously that he, his hand would get fucking tore up and it might have been that he was a little bit soft but it didn't have you know the kind of hands that, that would get torn up by a controller a um, sacrifice for the emperor but uh yeah it became a problem another enemy position taken Deny the spent flesh and aching wounds. Onwards to victory! His folks didn't like it. And they ordered him a special set of uh, gloves from Nintendo. I guess that was already a thing that had come up in other cases. Is that uh, maybe a bunch of kids were tearing their hands up doing that uh, type of maneuver. So he had a special set of gloves. One time I'm over. They were playing Mario Party. Uh, I guess either he forgot to wear him or he didn't want to to look cool or something. One of the two. And, uh. Like a man, Godsman. Sure enough, his hand gets chewed the fuck up. Um, and they're like having pizza later, and his parents notice that his hand is all torn up. And, uh. Like, Don't linger, uh were you playing Mario Party without the gloves? 
And the girl's like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Get up and caught out the, like a very Another nice foul war banner trampled into the ground. Kind of Keep moment. pushing. Don't lose momentum. Onwards! Don't linger, guardsmen! Incoming gas attack. Time to leave this lovely place. Move! Move! Ready to fight! Onward! Move! Move! It's definitely not the kind of thing that would have happened in my house growing up. Uh, in person to that, you know, I was kind of rugged. Uh, my hands weren't going to get chewed up by no fucking controller. Um, and, uh, you know, had that happened, my parents would have said, hey, you know, these gloves cost almost as much as a new game. Would you rather a new game or for us to have to, like, uh, you know, buy this device, this, this equipment? And for my buddy, it was both. He had all the games and the equipment. It wasn't an if or this conversation. At my house, it would have had to have come at the sacrifice of another game or another controller. Um, something always came from somewhere. Move! Now you'll pay! Ready to fight! scraped his knee, like his whole ass knee would be bloody. Um, he wasn't like the kind of person who had like built up scar tissue, you know, to wear like, um, you know, if another event happened on the same body part, that like there would be like some, uh, resistance. Everything was on the full effect with that kid. Personally, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been friends with parents my whole life. Um, another one who's kind of comes from a family similar to mine. Uh, we were doing a bunch of yard work, and you know, he was uh, like as effective as a grown ass adult. You know, he had his gloves on and he was handling all these brambles and thorns and shit. You know, he, he might have drawn blood from that point in the day, but it wasn't like out of another kid. I had my other kid done some grown ass adult yard work shit. He would have like been hospitalized or something. He just wasn't built for it. And uh, now you'll pay scum. You know, some of us nerds are. Some of us came up in it. Ready to fight! Forgive me if I'm using the term Terran incorrectly. I'm kind of assuming that, like, for example, uh, StarCraft, um, 
you know, the human beings care of. So. No, I don't know if Karen was specific to StarCraft, is what I'm saying. Today is a good day. For the Emperor! Move! Move! Typical friends if I had when I was growing up. It's like it sounds like the cast of Recess almost. Uh, which would make me TJ Detweiler, and I wasn't exactly a TJ Detweiler. Um, I was sort of like the the main one, at least for my year. Um, I was friends with the kids a year older too, and I really wasn't that vocal in that section of it. But the kids in my year. Um, I was kind of like the TJ Detweiler position, but I would have been more like, um, a Roger from Doug. I was like if Roger was like the, um, the main character. I found out the hard way, and being Roger's all good and fine at that age, but uh, once you get to about middle school, it's actually kind of sad. You want to give that Roger shit up about like 6th, 7th grade, I'd say. Five minutes your character loses a life, that's pretty serious. Um, deposited on the planet by. You know what? I think I can have a spell that can make that a little less scary. Um, additional. One additional life. Let's do a couple. Fuck it. Let's do three. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay. De Deposited on the planet by an unforeseen warp surge, a warband of Chaos Marines have commandeered an Imperial anti-void ship battery and started shooting down all suborbital uh, aircraft. A seemingly pointless act beyond our comprehension. Orders wipe out the artillery towers so the site can be annihilated. It's all cool, everything's fine, you're cool. You get to an age that you're in you know, a sleeveless jean jacket. It looks kinda uh kinda dusty, bro. Take a look around you. And you're in a trailer park when all your friends are in normal houses. Um it uh, it 
it's very socially enriching as a kid to kind of be like that, assuming that, you know, we're not talking about real life abuse and or trailer park problems. But to be that friend who's interesting, um, now when you kind of get a little bit older, depending on how you internalize it or not, um, that can, uh, make, you know, people like myself lash out a little bit. You are expected to mark a bunker for an aerial strike. The target is reinforced by anti-aircraft artillery, so you must take out the foot soldiers and guns first, then finish the bunker. All this taking it in stride single-handedly. Oh, the seemingly pointless intrigues of the Holy Ordo. The other thing that can happen as a uh, grown-up Roger, or growing-up Roger, is... Uh, when people treat you poorly, or say something, or do something uh, fucked up to you, it, the good part is that it doesn't really faze you that much, because you're just used to life being shitty. So you have that strength, but um, when you rebuttal, you'll do a 0 to 60 on somebody who's like a, like a 10, because um, you just haven't seen that kind of like sympathetic, empathetic, kind of, like, emotional intelligence type of shit. Um, so you wind up, like, going way overboard on, you know, you know, telling somebody, uh, you know, something mean about them. And, uh, that would be, I think, the biggest warning. Is that if you are going to be a Roger type getting older, you got to be aware that what you've been through isn't what everybody else has been through. And, uh, you can really, um, make people rightfully, um, sickened by what you say. Uh, because it won't even feel like that much that you said. I think, uh, comedians often find themselves in that issue. Is that you're usually coming up in some kind of trauma. And, uh... are at a loss when people can't accept the, the same things you were told. Like, somehow it's okay when it's you and when it's somebody else, now feelings matter. That's a real growing up Roger kind of issue. Um, and I, I've said some pretty horrible things that I regret to people, and at the time didn't really feel like anything. I think now as an adult, like, I know how serious those things are, and um, I do see that that is a big deal. And, uh, you know, a point of, of growth. Now, I didn't grow up in a trailer park by any means, uh, but, you know, compared to, like, my, my friends that had families that owned their home or, um, you know, had a, a large home, whether they owned it or not, um, I was a little bit on that Roger side. Um, something that's not very Roger is that I, uh, came from two college-educated English-speaking parents. Um, that valued education very dearly, um, and a lot of kids in the struggle don't get that. They might get one parent with that, and I had two. Um, that was a bit of a half Roger. school in a wealthy area of living under some garage kind of shit. All your buddies are going to prom and have a car to pick up their date. You're just like thinking that you're going to avoid it altogether because you don't really have an answer to 
even the logistics. Target neutralized. At this rate, you'll be back on board in no time. entirely latchkey either. Uh, I was single parent household. Um, my mom kind of filled both provider and uh, maternal type of roles if you're not super bothered by that kind of binary gender type of assignment. Um, which meant that she was born dead, you know, didn't mean that I really got either. Um, very appreciative of her, and happy birthday to her tomorrow. So. But it was what it was, you know. Uh, being the man of the house at a very young age, you know. Uh, having to fix the house toilet with the Lego pieces, type of shit. Uh, literally. longer than those, I think, is a bit of a strength, um, but it also exposes a lot of weaknesses, too. Um, you know, a lot of my, my friends with, like, uh, all that dad shit going on, like, they've got, like, all their power tools, and, like, they have, like, all this, like, dad gear and shit, you know what I mean? Um, Perish, Bill. Someone within... A phone call has a truck to help them move, you know? Um, but, uh, I think that that's actually a pretty easy Die, sacrifice I'm given how much dads are really a pain in the ass for a lot of people. Uh, I've kind of grown up getting used to me being my own authoritative figure for myself. Um, which is hasn't always been such a good thing. Hostile unit down. Rinse and repeat. In the name of the Emperor, of course. Um, I think in terms of my overall life enjoyment, I probably would enjoy that more than at least how uh, my dad handles stuff. Uh, the dude's old school. Uh, it's tricky, you know, sometimes things are less than ideal, but you, you, you stop back and think, you know what, I'd kind of rather it be this way than how it could have looked people trying to, to do that. Sucked, dude. 
I mean, there's some pretty rad dads, not gonna lie. A lot of my friends' dads are pretty sick. But, um, me having my own dad in my life wouldn't be an improvement. And, uh, that's part of feeling better about it. Also means that it's like Saturday afternoon and I'm playing Warhammer and not like building a fence or some shit. Which is good and bad, you know, I don't really fancy spending my time doing home improvement. Um, I wouldn't mind down the road. That's not how I choose to spend my Saturday necessarily right now. And it's bad because this kind of nerdy Warhammer shit filling all of your free time doesn't really leave you with anything. You know, at least you got the fence out of it. Kill confirmed. Target offline. I've got one buddy who I, you know, chat about, you know, like life kind of issues with, and uh, he suspects that I'm dealing with problems from uh, being resentful that uh, I didn't have a dad to, like, kind of have some kind of guiding path kind of stuff, and, uh, no, I get where he's coming from, I really don't feel that way. given that having him around would have been more of a pain in the ass anyway, to start. Uh, he didn't really have much to contribute, and in a lot of ways he was kind of a bad example. So I think more exposure to him would have been a way worse issue. And I think he feels that from having a good dad himself, like, oh man, how would I feel? That would be tragic. And it would be for him, because he knows what it's like for that to be a good thing in his life. And, uh, the tragedy would be to uh, prolong more of it, really. What I had told him that was actually very disturbing to him is that, like, oh yeah, like, you know, all that, like, corny dad stuff, whatever, I, could, I had TV for that. And to me, that is a perfectly adequate replacement for, like, whatever that dad pep talk shit is. And he heard that, and he's like, wow, that makes me actually sad. It, Objective that completed. Is a genuine Great work down there. And, uh, is it heresy yeah, to think that these hostiles were a bit out of your league? You know, uh, but, um, it's kind of easier that way. When it's a TV as your parent, you get to turn it off. You get to change the channel. You get to mute it. You get to, um, you know, take what you want from it. Uh, whereas it's like a very serious dad, um, you, you don't have the option of picking and choosing what parts of it you want to, um, bond with. On TV, it makes it very easy. Hoping it doesn't crash. Okay, we are live.
Okay, we have a shotgun with two spaces. Oh no, that, that's the thing next to it. Fuck it. Don't care. Is this a better armor? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Is that all the, um, yeah, that's all the intel for now. Let's post open another couple of those. Okay, it's level 71 now. So I'm getting a, a picking up on a trend here. It's almost always going to be slightly more difficult than comfort to your 72. Oh, shit. I accepted it. Oh well, well we're gonna see what happens. Shit, I don't even know what the, the nerfs are. me being a young Roger, single parent kind of slash situation, me and my own authority, um, you know, that kind of pointed me in a path of being like a bit of a, a burnout for a lot of years, and yeah, refrained from drinking and smoking, my freshman year of high school, um, even I, I kind of had a liking for it already in middle school. You know what? Let me enjoy being young with all this stuff for a while. And then, like, sophomore year, I really, like, got into it. Um, and then, increasingly so over the years, you know, my time and interest skateboarding kind of turned into new forces. Strategic months. targets located in the area. With a surgical strike, we can break their chain of command and harvest valuable data. And that's a very easy thing to fall into if uh, you're kind of lacking structures in your life at that age. Sweet suffering. Ordinance away. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be too gnarly. Yeah, I might have chosen the missions too advanced. Every encounter is going to need at least one turret.
my meds sparingly. This is even going to be possible. Eradicated. Mission status updated. Okay, so I'm kind of on a path where I really do have to fight everybody. all these bodies and shit on the ground.
chasing me. It looks like it's just three of them now. at like 10 frames a second.
Undesired variable removed. Okay, just one more. Can I do it? Um, I got another med kit on the way. You can see I can eat those up like candy. Oh, excuse me. Song. So what we're going to need to do is put one down and lure them out. Because uh, in their den it's going to be dead in a second. Time for payback! The Inquisitor must die! Yeah, let's get rid of that guy early. Take this, cowards! How am I out of Med supply? Did I use my med supply accidentally? Oh shit. how long it's going to take for my turret to re-cool down.
got a big group now to this town. Okay, I gotta clip the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll pick it up where we left off. I think it would be so cruel for me to make you watch 40 minutes of this mission and not know how it ends. So we'll pick it up, assuming that when I start the next clip, it doesn't crash. So have a good one. I'll see you next time.